I am Gus Poet and this is my best 11. In goal, Peter Schmeichel. Why? Because he was the best, he was the difference, he was always at the right time in the right place and because he was a very difficult goalkeeper to beat. Cafu and Roberto Carlos are putting together because uh, the thing is when you play against someone of the quality of them and you have to mark them and you're moving from side to side and they are attacking at the same time and they go forward and backwards, that's a way of suffering a player, you have to put in your best eleven. Desai Lee, Marcel, I had to put one of my teammates in there, one of the best ever centre half, uh, World Cup champion, Champion League champion, always ready to play, always ready to help, a top top defender. Maldini, I was lucky enough, if I had to say, to play against Maldini. Uh, different class, he was quick, he was good, right foot, left foot, uh, you know, that type of players that he would play in any team anywhere in the world. Midfield, Pep Guardiola. Probably not too many people pick Pep, but the problem I had, I played seven years against him. Very difficult to mark. If you were too close, he would play one touch. If you give him two or three yards, he will play with you. He will keep possession. He will dictate the game. You know, it gets to a point that you were really annoying and you were close, maybe to go and try to get him kicking him from behind. Then uh, a little bit more advanced in midfield, Michael Laudrup. What can I say about Mr. Ladro? Uh, the timing of his passing, the ability to see something that the ref couldn't see, when to play forward, when to keep the ball. Um, you know, that type of play that it will hurt the opposition sometimes without even making any effort. So it was uh, totally different to the rest. In the other side of midfield, Paul Scholes, uh, best English player I play against with any doubt. For me, when you are a, a top class player, especially in midfield. You know, you need to be good on the ball, physically strong, you need to know how to play the game, but also you have to be a little bit nasty. And I think that uh, Paul had everything to be one of the top tops. Haha, <laughs> the best ones. And then I need to pick three at the top, which is very difficult. Um, first, I'm gonna pick my good friend, the little one, Gianfranco Zola, which is, uh, Unique, it was special, very easy to play with. You know, you don't, need to, you don't need to do too many things when you play with Gianfranco, he will do it for you. He will put the ball for you in the right play for you to finish. He will give you the right angle. He will always looking for the ball, he will make the difference. I mean, uh, it was a pleasure to play, the best player I play with. Next to him, Diego Armando Maradona, the best ever for me. I, I didn't see Pelé too much. I think Maradona was the, the type of player that he was doing things that the rest we were not able to do when I was young and I was growing up and, and, and checking in football. Uh, every, everywhere he went, he done well. He won everything in the clubs where he played for, but especially when winning that World Cup in, uh, in 86, it was unique, you know. It's the only time you can see a national team winning a World Cup practically because of one player. And then at top, the last one, Ronaldo, the Brazilian Ronaldo. Uh, I was in Spain when he was playing for Barcelona and I can tell everybody he was one of the best. It was impossible to mark, he had an acceleration that it was difficult to stop, he was scoring goals for fun, he was doing you know, something that the rest we couldn't do, he was um, you know, the special player during my time in Spain. I am Gus Poet and that was my best 11.